All right, hey, what is going on? Guys, it's me, your boy, Nickens, back with another video. And today I'm going over my draft recap. Yes, it's a week late. Should I get in out way sooner? Yes, but it's finals. And your boy is finally getting caught up, and he has one more final to take. I have some time. I'm going to make this video. And then, you know what's next for me? I've got to, I'm have got. going to go study. And then, uh, yeah, make the prospects video that's been wanting to make for, like, two months. But, you know what? It all happens in the right time, in the right place. So, yeah, please click that like and subscribe button if you are excited for this 2023 season and you know what you're going to get more content i'm going to be more i'm going to be more consistent hopefully famous last words that i say every year but yeah let's go right into this with the first overall pick in the draft and his name is the grant miller now if you don't know grant miller uh, Grant Miller is a KWL guy, as I've made a meme about. Um, but if you don't know Grant Miller, Grant Miller is another hugely talented Wiffle prospect. Um, he has been playing Wiffle for a long time, um, and he has been playing absolutely out of his mind in everything that he's been doing. Also, he's a proud father, so shout out to that. And he's a husband, so like things that are great. We need more dads in MLW. Come on, guys. Where Where is your dad game at? So obviously, um, he's going to be super impactful. He's going to have such a great uh, filling filling that role that the Magic really need, and that is a really star batter. I really think that because of Grant's presence at the plate, it's going to make Trevor Bonham's life easier. I mean, it'll make Grant's life easier because he can pitch. It'll make their pick that I'll talk about later. Um, it'll make his life easier as a rookie as well. I mean, Grant Miller is kind of coming in as a rookie, um, Right, so there'll be a little adjustment to the plate. There'll be a little adjustment in some other ways, but the guy is going to be able to make a huge impact immediately for this roster. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what he does. I think he a new kind of presence and energy to MLW, and I'm excited to see what he does. Michael, you have you have to give you have to give him a grade. You you have to. It's part of the video. Oh, um. Sure, uh, grades. Um, I'll give him a C plus for cool beard, bro. All right, next up, we have Preston Colm, the culminator. Um, the culmination of what everything's been going on. Um, Preston, I've been actually watching for a little bit. Uh, I've been watching Bay City, um, and this dude has been going off in Bay City for a while. Um, he is going to be exactly what they need. So Preston Colm is a guy that I've got to see personally um, when I went up to the Wiffle and the Mitten tournament up in Brighton. Um, this dude is really good, and he's young. And again, the Mallards are getting a guy who's going to be able to have a lot of longevity in the league. Um, we don't know how much longer Jordan will be able to sustain, you know, going back and forth. However... I mean, this guy is going to be really good. I think Preston's going to be around for a long time. He's got lots of reps in. He's been learning. He's a champion. Guy knows how to win, and it's going to go great into a roster like the Mallards. So um, I think it's going to be great, and uh, I'm very excited to see what he does. I know he plays really well. He's played against quality competition in Bay City. Um, he's played against quality competition in the tournaments. So this guy's tested and proven. He is young, but it'll be great to have a young guy on the roster who's going to be able to do well and have an extra bat in that line. Grade, grade, grade. Um, we'll give him a B for Bay City, boy. Of course, we've got the traded pick. Um, that the uh, Wildcats got from, sorry, that the Magic got from the Wildcats, and they gave up uh, Liam Jackson. So they get the third overall pick, and with that pick, they picked R.J. Walgate, um, who is going to be um, probably, I think, the youngest in recent memory. I mean, we're thinking about, like, if MLW was playing with their parents. Like, this is going to be the youngest kid to play in a long, long time. Um, immensely talented. The guy is a freak athlete. I mean, he is humongous. 
Um, he's got pitching. He's got batting. The dude knows how his stuff. He's going to be a great, you know, extra number two or guy to develop for a long time. He's going to be able to get in the lineup and play super well. Um, I'm interested to see how he moves up because he is so young. I mean, so much younger than everybody else. Um, but, you know, this guy's going to be able to hit well. He's going to be able to see the ball well. He's young. He's going to develop into a better player. And he follows me on Instagram. So for that, he gets in. Uh, he gets an A for uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, next up, next up, we have the uh, Eagles pick, and the Eagles picked Carson Yergaitis, um, a guy who also I've seen and watched on Bay City. Uh, this guy is gonna be really good. I mean, if you saw how Landon is, uh, just think of a younger version of him. Um, gonna be able to hit the ball well. Um, a little, maybe a little less awkward, lanky looking. <laughs> I'm sorry, Landon. I'm kidding. Um, but, uh, you know, he's got good mechanics. He's going to be able to hit well. I mean, and, you know, I'm excited to see what they do. Um, he's going to be on a roster that already has a lot of talent. And, you know, he can come in at any time and be ready. A young guy who's going to be able to sit and develop around some other young guys. Um, and it's just going to be quietly um, a group that's going to continue to develop over a long period of time, and they're going to be so good for the franchise. Um, another great draft pick, and I'm very excited. So, Oh, okay. The Carson, you get a C-plus for Carson. You're good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, next up is Jake Longman. Um, a guy that I thought who was going to get drafted last year, or at least I've heard a lot about, um, and I know he's been good. I don't remember if I actually got to see him um, in with the Men, but this guy's a traveled uh, KWL guy. He's been playing for a long time. Dude has been leading his PWL squad as well. Um, so he's going to be able to come in, play really well, be a leader on that Preds roster um, to just kind of fit in into that mold. Um, maybe one of their a better four player. Um, especially now that they have to bat four. Um, and so Jake's going to be able to hit really well. Um, he's hit well and proved himself in tournament. He's proved himself also in uh, KWL. And so he's going to be a guy to watch out for. I think it's a sneaky good pick from the Preds. Um, but the dude's going to be really good. And I'm excited to see exactly what he does this next year. Uh, the pick, Jake Lawman gets a B for big dude. Big dude. Next up is Jacob Bishka. Uh, Sticks Wiffle. Um, I actually don't know much about this guy, but just knowing that Jimmy picked him, he's obviously going to be really good, um, probably getting a steal. Um, Jimmy drafted Trey last year, and he's getting another guy who's going to be able to uh, you know, wait in the back and be able to play really well. I mean, he can pitch. He can hit. And so, you know, they've had some struggles in both of those this past couple of years in terms of consistency. And maybe Jacob can kind of come in and fit in and be more of a consistent uh, player. You know, just kind of meld in, give them some more wins so they don't have to scrap through the season. Um, but overall, I think this is going to be a good choice, getting another Illinois guy, going to fit in well, going to be able to carpool, drive together. So, yeah, uh, really awesome for them. Next up is, of course... The Cobras, and they picked Chris Baranowski, um, another KWL guy, um, another guy who's going to play really, really well. Um, I think utility is the best way to use him because they already have two really solid guys in Bean and Baranowski from the pitching mound. Um, Chris can kind of come in and be an extra arm, but he can also help at the plate. Um, and so he's going to be a guy who's going to fit in wherever. He's always going to be able to be available Um to fit in wherever the Cobras need. And that's kind of what they need. The Cobras are looking to improve a little bit. So this is kind of another bulk in their roster, um, being able to pick a guy who's going to fit in well, being Bar uh, Chris's, or Chris's being the brother of Brendan Bernaski. And so overall, I think this is a really great pick from the Cobes. And uh, again, this guy this guy's going to be really good. Oh, uh, he gets a C for keeping it in the family. <laughs> The Cobes are also keeping it in the family in 2023. Keeping it in the family. Um, 
So the last one is Matt Carlington. Pl- had experience, played with Jimmy. I um, actually got to see him in tournament, and he's pretty dang good. So um, sneak, kind of a sneaky pick. Um, but again, you know, somebody who's going to fill fill a roster spot, who's going to be there, be consistent. If Preston can't be there, if Jordan can't be there, so um, yeah, maybe can pitch a little. But I think it's a good eighth round kind of filling up, bulking up that roster. Um, he's gonna he's gonna get a D for uh, that dude standing next to Tommy all the time. So. <laughs> Um, and then the last guy is A.J. Ackerman, um, who wasn't really drafted. But again, another roster bulking position where basically it seems like the Magic have gone full total rebuild. Um, and that's going to be kind of interesting to see next year. The the A brand new, kind of inexperienced roster. They have Wiffle experience, but not necessarily MLW experience. Um, playing against the best pitchers all the time, so it's going to be interesting to see exactly how that translates for the Magic this year. Now, in terms of talent, of course, they have, you know, really bulked up the roster, but is that going to translate into wins this year? And it very well could, um, but everybody is stacked. Everybody has become so much better, and there's not a team that you can just simply count to sweep, count to win the series, and so it's going to be a great, really exciting year, Um, and I think... uh, A.J. Ackerman is going to be able to fit alongside that Magic squad and, you know, give them that depth, give them that fourth man that they really need. Um, So, yeah, that's kind of my video and my rankings. Uh, Let me know what you thought of my grades and uh, thought of the overall draft. And, yeah, I will see you next time, hopefully with the draft prospects video. And then we'll start getting into season recaps and power rankings and stuff like that. The season is upon us, boys. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.